this is Craig from OrgSpring. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a Google Plus page for your nonprofit or your organization. You'll see here we start off where we left off in the last tutorial. We created a Google Plus account for John Smith. He's the executive director of the John Smith Foundation, which of course is a non existent foundation. At least to my knowledge, it's non existent. But <clears throat> what we've done ha is to add a profile picture and we added a few people that we have followed into our circles. And if you want to find out how to do that, you could view our other tutorial, which is navigating through your Google Plus account. Today we focus on creating a page, which is like a Facebook page. It's a page just for your organization, separate than your personal page. Now, why would you want to do this in Google Plus? Well, the same reason you would do it in Facebook or any other profile. Sometimes you need to separate your personal postings from your business postings. It also gives your business a online home of its own in the social media streaming networks. Uh, it's a landing page where people can go and look at your posts, pictures specific to your organization. Plus, you might have people who will be fans of your organization who might not necessarily be fans of you. So we want to create a separate page to uh, also draw attention to your organization and get some inbound links. So <clears throat> We're going to go through that and show you how to do that in Google+. Now, Google+, Plus makes it extremely easy to create a page for your business or your foundation. So, we're going to go down here to the bottom right side of the page, and you'll see an area here called Google+, Plus Pages, with a link to create a page. So, we're going to click on this link, and it's going to give us a few options. On the left side, you'll see some different categories, and this is the category that you'll pick for your organization. Is it a local business or a place, a product or a brand, a company, institution or organization, arts, entertainment or sports, or some other category that is not necessarily included in these other categories? And if you mouse over them, it'll give you a couple ideas of what would normally fit inside those categories. So for instance, in their local business or place, hotels, restaurants, product or brand, cars, electronics, financial services, and of course the one we want here is the company institutional organization which includes nonprofits. So we'll click there and it's going to pull up some simple information that you need to fill in on a form. First it asks for a page name. So we're going to create the John Smith Foundation. It asks for a website and we're going to put one here, johnsmithfoundation.com, and a category. <clears throat> The drop down list, we will go in and click nonprofit. And it'll be publicly visible. Its content is appropriate for, and if you look at this drop down box, any we're going to select any Google Plus user, but if you do have adult material or sensitive material that requires an age limit, you can put this down here. And then they also separate out alcohol related. There are special rules for posting with that as well. So uh, ours will be available for any Google Plus user. There's no sensitive information. You have a choice to keep me informed of future page releases and other relevant information. This means that Google will send you an email when there are updates to the user interface of Google+. And then, of course, you need to read the page's terms and approve that you are an authorized user to create this page. We'll do that, and we will click Create. It takes just a few seconds to create the page, and then we're taken to a page information, and you'll see here you are now using Google Plus as this page. This is very similar to what happens in Facebook, where now when we navigate Google Plus, we will be doing it as the John Smith Foundation, which is what you see here. We're no longer doing this as John Smith the person. We are looking at the page John Smith Foundation. It's asking us to add a tagline. If you had a tagline for your organization, you would put that here. Helping children with education initiatives. And then you have a choice to add a profile photo and we can do that either uploading one from our computer or using one of our photos that we already have. And you could use your Picasso web albums, you could use photos of you, or you could use a web camera. So let's just do a quick upload and we're going to use the same picture that we've been using and we'll put that right in here. 
this is the same picture as the John Smith picture. It happens to be a picture of my brother's dog, Hunter. And we will set this as a profile photo. When we're done with that, we click Continue. And then you have the choice to share on Google Plus that you've created this page. And it says again, this post will come from you, not from this page. So it knows that you, John Smith, are the user who created the John Smith Foundation page. So this is telling you that you want to tell the people in your personal circles about your new page. So we'll just write a quick note. Hey everyone, this is my new page for my John Smith Foundation. Check it out and share with your friends. And then you have a choice of who you can share this with. If you click this drop down box in this area here, you can share it with family, acquaintances, the people you're following, all your circles, the public or your extended circles. Basically extended circles means everyone in your circle plus everyone in their circles. So this could go out to quite a few people. So we'll just send it to our following and we'll hit share. And you'll notice later when we click back to John Smith that that will be in John Smith's stream. We click finish and now we are taking to the John Smith Foundation page. There's very little difference between the John Smith Foundation page, or any organization page for that matter, and your personal page. And you'll see here one of the things up in the top corner next to your profile is the John Smith Foundation. This is the name of the page. And you'll notice underneath there is one page. If you click on that drop down arrow, you'll have a choice to switch between your pages. This is you, John Smith, the personal page, and this is John Smith, the foundation page. And you could manage your pages. And if we switch back and forth, now we're at John Smith, the personal page. And you'll see here the link that we shared before for the John Smith Foundation. You click again, you could switch back to the John Smith Foundation, and this is the foundation page. And again, you get the warning, you're now using Google Plus as this page. So if we were to find something, let's say we go to the lighthouse, and we found a link or we wanted to comment on a link from the White House, we would be commenting as the John Smith Foundation, not John Smith personally. So if someone picked up on something that we had posted and linked over, they would find the John Smith Foundation. As you're searching, if you want to get back to your page, you can click up here in the name and come back to the John Smith Foundation. You could also click up here in the home, go back to your photos, your profile, and this takes you to the main area for the John Smith Foundation. Now you can edit your profile and add information for the John Smith Foundation, and when people search on John Smith Foundation, they will land on this page. This is your page profile. So let's change a little bit of the information by clicking on Edit Profile. You'll notice that you have a few options. You can add some more photos, you could change your photo, and you could edit your profile here to see who's visible in your network. So let's start with some information. Introduction. Put a little about your page here so people know they found the correct John Smith Foundation. So we'll click on that and it opens up an HTML editor and we could add some text. Thanks for visiting us. We hope you'll check out our home on the web also. And again, you could choose who you want to share any of the information on your profile with. In this case, we'll make it public so that anyone who picks on uh, lands on our page can see the information we've put in. Your other choices are to share just with your circles, to keep it private, only you, or to do some custom form sharing with different circles. We're going to leave it public so that anyone who lands on it can see it. 
We're going to leave contact info blank right now. We want people to reach us through our website. We don't want them calling us on the phone or sending us email at this moment. But if you did, you would click on this information and you could add things like phone, mobile phones, email, a physical address, things like that. For now, we'll leave that blank. And then we have the choice to add recommended links. So you could put pages of interest here where people can click on you and then click outside to things that interest you. We're going to leave that blank for now, but if you wanted, you could click and add a link. If you had photos or videos that you wanted to add, you could click here on either of these. And then to see any of the posts from John Smith Foundation or the things that John Smith Foundation is sharing, people would click here. Right now, there's nothing there to edit. We are done editing. We've added a picture. We've added some about information. And we'll click Done Editing. And that information will be live. Again, as you see your foundation page, the information will show up. So we'll click About, and that information was added here. Right now, we don't have any other photos other than our original profile photo. But if we add albums, they will show up here. If you added videos, they will show up here as well. And you could link to uh, uploaded videos or other videos that you have seen. So this is what your organization page would look like. So let's for example switch to, we'll go home and then we'll be able to see ourselves. This is our page and let's go back to John Smith. Now if you were just a regular person navigating Google Plus and you had heard something about the John Smith Foundation, you would type it in here in the search bar and you would search Google Plus for John Smith Foundation. And here it is right up at the top, people and pages. And you'll notice two things. You notice the John Smith Foundation and you also notice John Smith, the person who's an executive director at the John Smith Foundation. So you would have a choice to look at either one of these and add either one of these to your circles. If you were clicking on, hey, that's John Smith Foundation, that's what I was looking for, you would click there and it takes you to the profile page, which is what we created. Now you'll notice this bar pops up. Google recognizes that we are the owner of the John Smith Foundation, so it gives us the choice to manage this page. At this point, we really don't need to do that, but you can see exactly what people will see when they go to your page. This little square up top denotes that this is a Google Plus page. So you have several options to share your Google Plus page with the world. The first one is sharing a particular post. So in your stream, you can come down to any post and share two ways. By clicking the share link, you could share on Twitter, on Facebook, or via email. And clicking on any one of these will create a specific URL that will link back to this particular post. So if you went on Facebook or Twitter, it would link back here. You can also click this down arrow and then click link to post and it'll give you that URL for this post, which you could then use in a blog post or an email or anywhere you would be posting a link. The other thing you can do is come up top to your address browser and this long code along with this URL is the address for whatever area that you're in. So for instance, if we were in our stream, this address is for our stream. If you are in your photo location, you'll notice the word photos is appended to that URL. And you could click that link or share that link and anyone who clicks on that link will be taken back to your photo page. The same is true for your circles and your friends along with your home page. So it's fairly easy to share a page at any time if you want, you click back on your name or the foundation name and it'll take you back to your home page. As you noticed, it's fairly easy to create a Google Plus page for your foundation. Take some time and play around with the different options. And when you're ready, continue to the next video tutorial where we show you how to change your settings and your privacy settings inside Google Plus to make sure that your Google Plus page is secure and you're only sharing information with the people whom you want to share. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.